everyone, this is Sunshine. And this is E. What's going on? We're going to do a little reaction, but you know, we're going to do a little something different. I mean, um, I mean, we don't have to really go into it. We could probably just, you know, hit it and, and then at the, you know, towards the end or maybe in between, we'll do a little reaction. But uh, you want to just give the caption of what they're saying? Uh, first black cookout. Ooh, okay, let's check that out. You ready? Let's, let's, let's get it. All right, I'm going to start this one off by saying I got a lot of black friends, okay? Most of them I got through playing football. They were my teammates. We've been to war together on the football field, loving to death. Now, with that being said, ever since I have had said friends, they have told me that I have a bad habit of putting them in white people positions. I do not fully understand what they mean, but they gave me the reference of, like, passing a cop on a two-lane road because he's going underneath the speed limit. Apparently, they ain't supposed to do that. It makes them nervous. Anyway, about a week ago, get a call from a buddy of mine. Play football together. Says, hey, buddy, I want you to come to a cookout. Hell, you ain't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop. I like cookouts. So I show up to the cookout. All right? As I step out of my pick-em-up truck, I realize that the only three white things at this cookout is the salt shaker, the napkins, and me. All right. As I'm walking up, I am being greeted by his grandma and grandpa and his great grandma and grandpa and his 47 cousins. All right, which there's no way for me to remember all these people's names. Anyway, there's a long table where the food's where the food everybody's eating at. Okay, they bring me over and set me down at the head of the table. I'm already I'm already really uncomfortable at this point because I don't know what's about to happen. Well, they say the blessing, and I get up to go fix my food. Well, I was not aware that at a black cookout, you do not fix your own plate. They fix your plate for you. Now, they bring me a whopping Dixie plate that some bitches round it off like this with barbecue. Okay? And I'm going to eat it. Don't get me wrong. I don't waste food. I'm going to eat it. So as I'm sitting there munching away, you know, just kind of getting my bearings about where I'm at. These two ladies walk up to me, two of his aunties, with two different potato salads. All right. <laughs> they say, we want to get your your opinion on which one of these is better. Now, apparently just because I'm white, I'm supposed to know the different calibers of mayonnaise. Well, I ain't finna <laughs> piss nobody off at this cookout, okay? So I ate both of them, and I told them that they were just so damn good, both of them, I, I couldn't pick one. <laughs> now, at this current time, I am almost in a food coma. Because I've ate so much because I didn't want to disrespect nobody's cooking there. And then his great-grandma, Mama T, that's what they call her. She comes up to me with what looks like a five-pound piece of cherry pie. Now, let me paint a picture for you. I've got the meat sweats. All right? That barbecue sauce on my shirt. I'm drifting in and out of consciousness. And she wants, she's bringing me a five-pound piece of pie. Now... I saw Friday after Nick's. I know what happens when you disrespect somebody's grandmama. I saw what happened to Craig and Day Day when they disrespect somebody's grandmama. You ain't have, you ain't finna be chasing me through these pines because we way out in the woods at this cookout. I'm white, not stupid. Right. So as I eat this pie, which I'm eating this pie because I ain't finna piss off nobody, especially the head woman there because she ranked up top. That's great grandma. You don't mess with her. I finish this pie and I drift off into a Caucasian kycosis hmm. of a food coma. I did just like this right here. Just like this. I went, whew, I'm full. As soon as I tipped my head back up, the table I'm sitting at is no more food on this table. I don't know how long I was out for. But somehow, I have, I'm still in the same chair. I have been dealt into a mm -hmm. high stakes spades game at an all black cookout besides me. What the fuck is going on? Mm -hmm. How did I get here? At what point in my life did I take this turn to take me to where I'm at? And that, the cards is in front of me, and I got no idea how to play spades, okay? None. I got no idea. All right, I'm white. We played go fish and cornhole. All we did, we got bored one day, literally did the whitest thing possible, walked out in the field, got some corn, took our pocket knives and cut it off the stalk, all right? Put it in a bag, went over there, found some plywood in the shed, cut a hole in it, put it on an angle, and we toss it at each other. That's what we do. I have no idea what spades is. So as they give me the runaround idea of what the hell is going on with this spades game, I realize, I look at my hand and I realize that I've probably got a pretty decent hand. Well, they asked me, they said, 
Zach, how many books you got? Which they had just explained this to me now. I'm talking about just now. I said, it looks like I got eight books. Apparently, that is the wrong damn answer for your first hand of spades ever. Because as soon as I said I got eight books, three Glock 9s hit the top of the table. I've got every damn spade you could possibly have and three other aces. Well, as I survived that round, I go to get up. And one of his cousins come over and taps me on the shoulder and says, hey, buddy, you want to go throw bones? I don't know what they're talking about. I ain't got a shitting clue what they're talking about. But I ain't going to piss nobody off. you got to understand, at this point, I am in survival mode. I am not pissing not one person off at this cookout. I do whatever they tell me to do. If they want me to stand on my head and blow bubbles out of my ass, I will do it. Don't hurt me. Okay? Now, I did not know bones meant dice. I was leaning more toward dominoes, which I kind of knew how to play from the Elks Lodge. But apparently... Bones means dice. I lost $36 so fast my fucking head was spinning. Okay? And apparently when they yell gator, that just code word for the white man loses because they just took my money and I just put some more down until I ran out of money. Which is fine. Made it through that one too. Now, as I'm slowly trying to make my way back to my truck, I went over to thank Mama T. You know, I thank, I thank my buddy. I thank everybody on the way to my truck. And I've got my truck in my sights. I am zeroed in on my truck trying to leave this place now i get to my truck i put my hand on my truck to go open it and there's a like a sense of relief that comes over me like i didn't piss nobody off nothing went wrong i went Whew, i made it now as i open my door i feel a tap on my shoulder i turn around the whole damn cookout is behind me <laughs> everybody there is right around my truck with Mama T right there in the front and my buddy. And he looked at me and said, Hey, buddy, next week's Mama T's birthday. You coming back? And I looked at him. <laughs> bamboozled on what to say. And the only thing I could come up with was, yeah. You damn right I'm coming back. <laughs> and that's the best damn barbecue I've ever had in my life. I don't know if you've ever been to All Black Cookout, but I'm going to tell you something. If you get the invitation, you better take that shit because that is the best food you ever going to get in the night damn people. I was scared shitless. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a big guy. I was acting like a little bitch. I didn't know what was happening. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, that's the most fun and some of the best people I've ever been around in my entire life. I'm going back next week. Bet. I told him, I said, y'all y'all need me to bring something like some ice because I ain't trying to cook with y'all. Y'all mm -hmm. want some ice or like or like some, uh, you want me to go get my little cousin Kyle to wear his monster hats and shit <laughs> and bring him? You know, so he'll, he'll feel at home. He got white beaters and stuff. Yo, what y'all need? <laughs> They told me I couldn't bring nothing but myself, me, and I, which I will be there. I'm white, not stupid. I ain't pissing nobody off. Shit. <laughs> right. All right. All right. Okay. Go ahead. What you want to do? Any, any comments? What you got going on with that? <laughs> I saw his stuff. I don't, I don't know what he was talking about either. You know, uh... You know, as far as the, um, uh, what was it? And I had it in my head, too. I don't, know. I don't know. I mean, you know, when it comes to the, the, the cookout, I've been to a couple of black cookouts from time to time. And so, uh, but, you know, the, the thing about the food, that's one thing. Uh, you never comment on the food. You know, the best thing is if you go to a cookout. What do you mean you don't comment on it? What I mean is when you go to it and you eat, first of all, the key thing is, is you always get a little bit of everything first. But yeah, but he said that they fixed his plate. So I know. that's what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was going to say. I, I don't know anything. I thought you'd get your own food. Well, I think a lot of people do that when they have like people that new visitors, they've never been to it, they may do that. But generally speaking, you know, everybody kind of get their own thing. They kind of let you know, some get somebody to say a prayer or a grace or whatever and do it. But the thing is, you the first time, if, you, if you're there and you don't really know the cooking, you just get a little bit because you can muscle through something if it's not that great. And then you go back and get what you really want. That's one thing you do, you know. So you never, but you never comment. You're sitting here, you're talking, and you're talking to somebody, somebody over here, and it might be their cousin or their mama that cooked it. So you always, you never comment on the food till you get in your car on the ride home. <laughs> so you never comment on the food. That's one thing. Uh, what was the other thing he talked about? Um, the car plane. Another thing about car plane, yeah, they, they do the spades, but it, 
if anybody can testify, everybody that plays spades are always the best played spade player in the world. I mean, they're always usually the they're the most competitive. Yeah, they're, you know, if you play spades, you are com a competitive person. I just, person. you know, that's most people. I just played, and if I win, I, just I do play. my talking. But most people, you know, they can't play sometimes, but they're the biggest talker. So when it comes to spades, you get heavy. But it just, it's all for fun. Cause it's not that it ends up in no brawls or anything like that. But it is, uh, you know, just it's. It's that type of thing. Everybody knows how to play when it comes to spades. And uh, the other thing that they didn't uh, mention, you know, he probably didn't mention, I don't know if it happened. A lot of times if there's a lot of, you know, food left over, everybody wants to get a plate to take home with them. <laughs> but sometimes people don't care because they don't want that. They're saying, take this food, get it out of there. They didn't want, they don't want, you know, have to deal with all the packing it up and putting it in the movie. I'm surprised you said cherry pie. I was expecting to say apple pie. Or peach yeah. cobbler. Yeah, peach cobbler maybe. What other I stuff? was not expecting cherry pie. I think a lot of a lot of cakes and stuff. I don't know. When it comes to dessert, yeah. I mean, he said cher cherry. He said, said cherry. Yeah, I was like, I thought he was going to say apple pie. Pie. Because. Or peach cobbler. Or, when he said, or pecan pie. Something like that maybe. I don't know. I was surprised. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, I don't <laughs> know too many that make. Cherry pie. It's okay. Right. <laughs> I'm just saying. I like it, but it's okay. But I don't. Do like, I like a cherry pie, but I don't see it a lot at a lot of functions. But I like cherry pie. Mm. With the cherry, apple, blueberry, I like it all. I'm a sweet aholic, so I mean, I like well, it. Well, yeah, you are. You know? mm. All right. Well, give us y'all comments. What do y'all think about the the black barbecue and, and, and things? Like I said, I don't <laughs> think he made anything personal. But it's just hey, people have friends and people are different and. He has his experience. Some of the things he experienced, I experienced some of the things I've never heard of. But, uh, oh, the corn thing. What was that about? Cornhole. That's the, that was has been big in the last, what, 10 or 15 years where they have the, that's what he's talking about. You cut a hole and then they put it on a slant and you're on one side. It's almost, you remember the game Toss Across? Mm -hmm. Where It's kind of like that, but with just the hole. You're trying to toss it and get it in the hole. Okay, I've never heard of that's that. Right. So that's Cornhole. With Toss Across was the, 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 Tic Tac Toe game. So, mm -hmm. but anyways, okay, that's probably dating ourselves. We don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, but uh, comment and let us know what you think about this uh, video and what you think if you've been to uh, a, a black uh, a cookout. Black cookout. And uh, you know, I wish they fixed my plate with it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. It's all good. But all right, make sure you comment. You know, hit the like button, the subscribe button, notification button. Just hit all the buttons so we can. You drop those videos when we uh you get. We're them. about to hit our three hundred mark. 300. We're going. Yes. Not, we're not going. You all getting us there, so that's cool. You right. Know, we appreciate so that. we're real close, but we're still trying to get to that five hundred. So mm -hmm. if you'd help try us do, out, I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do, but we're going to do something when that five hundred, something special. But yeah. once again, appreciate you listening to Sunshine, Sunshine and Me. E.